I had a feeling that we're kind of getting into 9-11 because obviously, like I said, it, it, it does affect not only Solaris, but I, a lot of movies. I, I can't imagine how. Well, it's, it's I not, even, I mean, look, it's, it's not, never something I it's not, I mean, about. look, I don't want to get into, it's not, we don't, we're not discussing this in a conspiratorial kind of way, like no, ever no. since 9-11, they do. The, the topic is this, let's say pre 9-11, it's about frontiers. It's basically about humans pushing into new frontiers. I mean, look, when I say humans, particularly American, white American humans, a lot of the time we have Star Trek, we have Star Wars, we have Dune. Um, there's obviously this big Roland Emmerich kind of, like you said, um, Independence Day. There's, um, yeah, there's a bunch of these movies that basically, you know, a lot of swashbuckling, a lot of fighting, a lot of shootouts in okay. the galaxy. Um, there's obviously a lot of things that you'll see that are almost replacements for the typical image of the cowboy, the typical image of the revolver. Mm -hmm. We get to 2001, we have 9-11, and what follows is kind of, a sudden change in the tide, right? Especially in the immediate aftermath, because, and this is something that people can read up on in terms of how 9-11 changes cinema, how it changes Hollywood. But suddenly, everything becomes a little bit more, I mean, Rowan mentioned psych psychological, but everything's a bit more inward facing. It's about okay. trauma. It's about psychology. It's about, um, it's about how we express ourselves, how we consider the place that we live, how we consider our actions outside of our own space. So, for example, in Solaris, there's there's more of a question of, are we having a negative impact on the rest of the world? Because if you remember, we have 9-11, and almost immediately we have the war on terror. Yeah. But the difference is, if you look at something like the initial Dune, which I think was, what, 74? Just as an example, it's a lot more... I mean, there's obviously Dune's referencing things like the Gulf War, and and you know um moments in history like that whereas the something like solaris it kind of takes an inverse look which is that actually um maybe there's a isolationism that's required here okay. um so yeah with solaris i mean what how does how does 911 affect it i think one of the key ways is yeah like i said it's so much more inward it's strange to think that an act like that could change an art form. Pre 9 11, you get a lot of films which involve not just frontier discovery, but it's a lot of destruction. Yeah. Independence Day, I mean, everything gets blown up. Yeah. Mars attacks. Yeah. That the Martians blow shit up. In Star Wars, Star the first Wars one, yeah. It's all about blowing up the. You'd um, also get. The Death Star. You'd also get uh, Deep Impact, which is about a big tsunami Impact, destroying Armageddon the planet. Is another Armageddon, one. perfect. You it's, get a whole slew of destruction sci fi films. Yeah. 2001, it's almost. It sounds conspiratorial, but it's kind of building up psychologically to something like like 2001, where such a devastating thing, which you could imagine in just seeing in these films, yeah. plays out in real life. Well, cinema cinema has this great tendency. Uh, there's a ton of films that we can look back and do this about, but it has a great tendency when you look back, let's say a, a, a huge event, in this case, 9-11, you look back at cinema. Obviously, a lot of people do do this conspiratorially and say, oh, look, there's a symbol here. I think there's a load of nonsense, but... Purely in terms of, um, purely in terms of the image, the frame that we're presented, there's so many things that, like Rome says, it feels almost like a build up to this event. And obviously, it's not a build up in the sense of that it's all the gears in motion, but it's it's what obviously makes 9/11 so harrowing because mm. it's the idea, it's these images that we're given in Hollywood, things blowing up, huge monuments in big cities being blown up, and mm. the presence of this sort of, I mean, those planes when you watch them, it's almost like a UFO because they're so low, they hit the building. As soon as that happens, then we get almost like we said with Solaris, the complete inverse. Everything it's almost like a vacuum seals yeah. everything inside. I mean, not only would it be culturally like tasteless to to, to depict that in films, yeah, but yeah. it's almost it would just touch too much of a cultural nerve to, yeah. to depict that, like yeah. it was being depicted in Ind Independence Day, where the the White House gets bombarded. Yeah, and shit exactly, like that. exactly. Yeah, and I mean, even that, something like that. Obviously, a plane crashes right next to the Red Pentagon. Pentagon. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. so it's Crazy. almost like uh, it's almost becomes prophetic in a lot of ways.